clinically proven for better results. It's my best skin yet with new Olay Super Serum. You love rich, delicious ice cream, but your stomach doesn't. That disagreement ends right now. Lactate ice cream is the creamy, real ice cream you love that will never mess with your stomach. Lactate ice cream. The Emmy-nominated Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Weeknights on CBS. My family and I find ourselves in an interesting situation. The walls are closing in on all sides. And there's a war coming. Yo! The Amazing Race. New season, September 27th on CBS. It's 11 o'clock. AmeriGuard Security would like to remind you to set your alarm and check your cameras. Trust only the best. Protect your family, home, or business with 24-7 armed response. Remember, AmeriGuard's it. The CBS 47 Studio is sponsored by Epic Nights at Table Mountain Casino Resort. This is Murrow and Emmy Award winning CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 11. Oh, what a homecoming tonight for a group of Valley veterans. We are there with cameras rolling as the 26th annual Central Valley Honor Flight returned to Fresno from the nation's capital. 67 men and two women visited several memorials created in their honor during their three-day trip. CBS 47's Juanita Adame was at tonight's homecoming. Well, they left for Washington, D.C. on Monday, September 11th, and they returned today. Some of the locals that we talked to today said seeing these veterans walking in to cheers, applause, and music is something that they feel very honored to be a part of. Randy Dinsta says there's no feeling like it. The hairs on my back of my neck stand up are constantly because it's just restores my faith in our country um, to see all, everybody who's come out to cheer on the veterans. Watching local veterans return from the most recent Central Valley Honor Flight. After all, we live the way we live and we enjoy the freedoms we enjoy because of the sacrifices of the original patriots and then every generation since. He was one of the hundreds waiting at the Fresno Yosemite International Airport on Wednesday evening. The World War II veterans are such a big part of that because our lives as we know it in the modern era is because of their sacrifices. It was a special night for him because not only was he welcoming home the veterans, he was part of the honor guard with other members of the Sons of the Revolution group he's a part of. This was the military uniform that they wore. And the reason they're called Minutemen is because they had to put this on in a minute to be ready for battle. The veterans set out for Washington, D.C. on Monday and spent three days on the East Coast. Today is um, exceptional in that most of these veterans, and we've got World War II, Korean, and Vietnam, have never seen the memorials built in their honor. They got to tour various war memorials in Washington, D.C. and returned tonight to the large crowd. What that means to me is that this valley is so supportive, so supportive of Honor Flight. For more information on the Central Valley Honor Flight, visit our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Reporting in Fresno, Juanita Adame, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. New video was released by the Fresno Police Department today as they investigate the arson case that led to the death of a seven-year-old boy. This is our first view of a possible suspect. Police say in July of last year, someone poured gasoline on the front and back doors of a home on College Avenue and then set it on fire. Three adults and two children inside the home escaped, but seven-year-old Isaac Vallejo could not get out. This video is very fresh. Uh, this video came forward to us uh, within uh, the last, uh, a very, very short period of time, but it came as a result of the uh, campaign by Crime Stoppers and the billboard information that was pushed out to the media. Not only did they work, they continue to work. We're continuing to get tips. Police say that they have more video of the possible suspects showing different angles, but it's not being released at this time. They say some of that video has been sent off to the FBI to get a better picture. 
For continuing coverage on this investigation, be sure and stay with Eyewitness News on air and online at yourcentralvalley.com. President County leaders are speaking out about Reedley after this being served a subpoena regarding the illegal medical lab that was discovered in the city last month. According to County Administrative Officer Paul Nerland, uh, last week, legal representatives from the U.S. Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party served the subpoena. They also interviewed Reedley's city manager and Fresno County's director of public health. The county says that it welcomes the involvement of Congress of this, so this never happens again. And really, what we're here to say is we don't want this to happen anywhere else in this country, and it can if we don't continue to call on Congress for further action. So the news that we came out to share with you today is that, yes, in fact, I have been served with a congressional subpoena, um, very happily served with a congressional subpoena, because what that means is that Congress is taking us seriously, and bipartisan Congress is taking us seriously. We don't need partisanship in this issue. Um, each and every one of us, regardless of what political affiliation we have, needs to be safe in this country. The Reedley City Manager says the Environmental Protection Agency was on site last week. They're assessing chemicals left in the lab building as they assist Reedley with the disposal. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Catherine Phillips filling in for Lauren Wallace today. We had wonderful temperatures today with highs in the 90s and beautiful blue skies across the valley. Let's start with a view from our Valley Cam Network. This is the view outside of our camera right now at our CBS 47 studios in Fresno. Still clear outside for today. 78 right now in Fresno, 66 already in Madera. Still in the 80s in Hanford, 80 degrees there. We'll drop down a few more degrees by midnight tomorrow morning, 67 degrees, 5 o'clock, 94 degrees. That's about our high temperature for most valley spots for tomorrow. Friday, a touch warmer. We do have some changes ahead. I'll talk more about that coming up in my full pinpoint weather forecast. The California State University Systems Board of Trustees voted earlier today to raise tuition. I want to go on record. I hate doing this. I don't want to do this. We need financial stability. We need predictability. And, as, and, as, and, and, and the human cost of this, we can't calculate right now. The trustees approved a 6% annual increase for the next five years. The increase will cost the average undergrad more than $340 a year starting next fall. Fresno State Student Body President says the tuition hike could be crippling. Such an increase by the year is going to really be detrimental for our students because they can't sustain themselves. It's unpredictable every year what their case may be. So to our students who do have to work two to three jobs, it will create another financial burden for them. CSU leaders said the university system can't survive without the tuition increase, citing a $1.5 billion funding gap. A possible strike by Fresno Unified Teachers is getting closer by the day. Existing contracts will expire in a little more than two weeks. CBS 47's Brett Rodriguez has the latest on negotiations with the school district. A possible strike is looming over Fresno Unified, the state's third largest school district, and the Fresno Teachers Association, which represents more than 4,000 teachers. In the latest negotiations, the FTA is demanding better pay, working conditions, and lifetime health care. With salary, we want to make sure that we just keep up with the cost of inflation. That's all we're asking. Um, we want to make sure that we reduce our class sizes, we reduce our caseload, and improve other areas that are going to help our students learn. District Superintendent Bob Nelson says the district is bargaining in good faith, but disagrees with the union salary demands, saying the offer that is on the table already matches soaring inflation rates. Yeah, there's a narrative that somehow our pay has not kept up with inflation. Um, our pay over the last 10 years gone up 32.7% and inflation has not gone up at that same rate. Under previous contracts, Fresno Unified teachers were guaranteed lifetime health benefits. That ended in 2004. After 2004, they only got health benefits while employed by the district, but lost them when upon termination of the employment under contracts now being offered by the district. That policy would remain in effect, meaning no lifetime health benefit. It's a major sticking point because as of now, the union is demanding the guarantee of lifetime coverage be reinstated, but negotiations remain in a state of flux. Union leaders say the district is being unreasonable on the issue. Um, we believe that there is enough money in our health fund in order to do lifetime retiree benefits. This is a, a thing that Bob Nelson himself has and yet it does not want to do for all other employees. Nelson received lifetime medical benefits when he began working with the district in the early 90s. He says lifetime benefits weren't possible in the 2000s and aren't possible now. 
at the time, it was believed that that was something that we could do that was fiscally sustainable. But even as early as the two, early 2000s, we realized this is a recipe for disaster. You can look at other districts that have lifetime medical here in the state of California that cannot get out from under the fiscal problems associated with costs that you just can't cap. If a strike does happen, the district says it will offer substitutes $500 a day. Rhett Rodriguez, CBS 47, Eyewitness News. The news from around the state, a bill to green light speed safety cameras in six California cities heads to the governor's desk. Under the pilot program, the cameras will be installed in school zones and high injury streets with speeding problems. The cities include Los Angeles, Long Beach, Glendale, Oakland, San, San Francisco, as well as San Jose. San Jose, like cities across the state, have seen an increase in pedestrian and cyclist fatalities, and it's a trend we're working very hard to turn around. I'm thankful that this year we are looking like we're leveling off, but that really isn't good enough. The automated cameras would track speed and take pictures of license plates. Offenders then would get a ticket in the mail. The governor has until October 14th to sign the bill into law. A state bill on gun control that could make significant changes to California's concealed carry laws is now on its way to the governor's desk. CCWs, or concealed weapons permits, allow people to conceal handguns on their person. If SB2 gets approval, people would also be required to have previous firearm training and be at least 21 years old. The proposal would also require applicants to provide character references and pass a background check. Supporters argue this bill will make California safer, but opponents say they will not let it go through without a fight. We're punishing law-abiding people who are simply exercising their constitutional rights and doing nothing about the criminals who continue to victimize people each day in this state. It's sick. Don't lecture me about gun control and gun violence if you're not gonna do something about the people who are the real problem. Given that the governor endorsed this bill, he's expected to sign it, but that could be just the start of a long legal fight ahead. In Southern California, the wife of imprisoned Mexican drug lord El Chapo is now free after serving two years for drug trafficking and money laundering. She was released today from the Long Beach halfway house where she served the last six months of her sentence. Meanwhile, El Chapo is serving a life sentence at Colorado Supermax Prison after he was convicted on drug trafficking and firearms charges. In Las Vegas today, it was day four of the cybersecurity crisis for MGM Resorts. The ransomware attack has affected several properties, including Aria, Bellagio, Mandalay Bay. Some slot machines are out of service, ATMs and credit card machines down. Some guests are saying that there is no communication from MGM. There's no apologies from MGM. There's no apologies from Bellagio. Right, our credit card's all over the place here. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely a concern. Be very careful and not use our cards or anything like that. Boy, this is a real problem. You can only imagine how much money this is costing MGM each day. A group of hackers claims that they were able to gain control of MGM's computer system through a 10-minute phone call on a company help desk number. This is yet to be confirmed, and the FBI is investigating. Republican Senator Mitt Romney of Utah says he will not seek re-election in 2024. You know, I, uh, I considered uh, my age and the fact that at the end of a second term I would be in my mid-80s. And I think it's time for guys like me to get out of the way and have people in the next generation step forward. Romney, who is 76 years old, has served in the Senate since 2019 and his current six-year term ends in January of 2025. With today's announcement, the race for Utah's Senate seat is a wide-open contest. Sales of the iPhone 12 were on hold in France due to concerns over electromagnetic radiation levels. The French government says that it emits electromagnetic radiation levels that are above the European Union standard for exposure. Apple is disputing the findings, saying that it has provided the French government with several lab results carried out by both the company as well as third-party labs, proving that the phones are compliant. In our coronavirus coverage, now that both the CDC and FDA have signed off on the updated COVID-19 shot, they're urging everyone to be vaccinated as soon as possible, especially those considered high risk. The updated vaccine comes just as COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations are on the rise across the country. If you have COVID or you just had COVID, experts say you can get the shot after symptoms resolve or you can wait 
three months while you still have some immunity. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 11, tar is bubbling up in a neighborhood not too far from the world famous La Brea Tar Pit. Plus, you'll be able to wine and dine once again at a San Francisco landmark. Find out who's taking over the Cliff House. But first, here are the winning numbers for tonight's Super Lotto drawing. It is worth $8 million. Also tonight, the winning numbers for tonight's Powerball drawing worth $550 million. We'll see you right back here in about 60 seconds. All around us, events unfolding. Start your day with breaking news from the break of dawn to prepare you for the day ahead with Anthony Bailey, Madeira's Bad. With you from First Light, investigative journalism, up-to-date pinpoint weather, on air and online. The Valley's only AMT, Anthony and Madeira's on Eyewitness News this morning. Weekdays from 5 to 7 on CBS 47. Some people love adventure, and then there's Gilbert. Who knows what brought him to Table Mountain? But one thing for sure, it wasn't confidence. He looked around, what catches his eye? Blackjack. His first hand, two aces, so naturally, he splits them. The book says to split them. And guess what? Hits on both, gets paid. Hey, Gilbert, meet adventure. Another lucky day, Table Mountain Casino Resort. puppies her rider is very specific tonight on cbs eyewitness news is brought to you in part by red's furniture gallery cbs 47 eyewitness news at 11 with katherine hurd brian dorman and pinpoint weather with chief meteorologist lauren watts on CBS 47 Eyewitness News. New here at 11, you'll soon be able to wine and dine once again in a San Francisco landmark. The National Park Service says the restaurant, formerly known as the Cliff House, will be opening next year under new management. In 2020, the former operator of the 157-year-old restaurant closed it due to the pandemic and a dispute over the lease. A sticky situation in Los Angeles where tar is seeping from the famed La Brea tar pits. It's oozing up from the street in a residential area. Kareen Winter reports. You can actually see oil right in there. Oil coming up out here. Look, it's bubbling right there. Gooey black puddles of tar. Now it seems to be yeah. getting worse. It, and it's spreading. Oozing from the middle of this street, even from relief holes drilled near the sidewalk. You'll see bubbling happening. It's like the La Brea tar pits, except you know, half a quarter mile away. Parts of Mid Wilshire's Maslin Avenue, a gooey, sticky mess of leaking tar. I recently did get some on my shoe, and it's pretty tough to get off, so it's not a pleasant thing, but it's more an issue of health and safety. These residents told us the tar began leaking on the street a year ago, and that the oil initially came from property lining some homes here. Now that tar is coming up from this spot in the middle of the busy street between Olympic Boulevard and 8th Street, about a half mile from the La Brea Tar Pits. L.A. Bureau of Street Services placed cones around this area to help drivers avoid the tar. They also poured sand onto the asphalt. But some cars speeding along the street rolled right over the mess. They come and they drop sand and they try to clean up as best they can, but they're doing, as Ellen is saying, they're doing a temporary solution. All they're doing is putting a little Band-Aid. City officials indicated a seepage pit installed to contain the tar may have overflowed with this year's batch of storms and the heavy rainfall that soft the region. Experts also saying small seepages of natural gas are often seen in some spots near the La Brea tar pits, but this latest leak have residents hoping there's a quick fix to the problem problem right around the corner. Oh, what a mess there. That was Kareen Winter reporting for us tonight. Still to come here on Eyewitness News at 11. How about this? Nothing to laugh about there, but something to laugh about here. Adam Sandler coming to Fresno when you can see the I Missed You tour and how to get your hands on some tickets. That's coming up after your full pinpoint weather forecast. And temperatures will be once again in the 90s for tomorrow, but we do have some changes coming up. I'll talk about that after the break. But for right now, here's your four-day boss allergy forecast. Your top pollens are on the screen and levels are in the medium-high range. We'll be right back. Help our Valley kids thrive. Join CBS 47 and the Boys and Girls Clubs of Fresno at the 27th Annual Stepping Up for Kids Gala, supporting community programs across Fresno County, Friday, September 15th.
Get your invite at bcgfresno.org. Grab the keys to a new Toyota. Let's go! Get out there and make the most of California's best season in a reliable SUV or powerful truck. Start your next adventure in a new Toyota. Right now, get low 3.99% APR on the Dynamic RAV4 or Spacious Highlander, or Lisa RAV4 for as low as $379 a month. Grab the keys, let's go! Toyota, let's go places. Homeowners, if you want to sell your house fast for all cash, stop what you're doing and watch this because Osborne Homes wants to buy your house right now. I'm Alec from Osborne Homes and we want to buy your house. Nobody buys more homes in California than Osborne. Whether it's a total fixture upper or in perfect condition, Osborne Homes is the easiest way to sell your house fast, all cash. Best of all, when you sell your house to Osborne Homes, there are zero commissions, zero fees, plus no banks, no realtors, no repairs, and no waiting to close. We buy your house as is, all cash. Just go to OsborneHomes.com right now for your free, no obligation, all cash offer. We are here ready to buy your house 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So go to OsborneHomes.com right now. Don't wait. Sell your house to Osborne Homes and put the cash in your pocket right away. Any house, any condition, all cash right now. Just go to OsborneHomes.com or call us today at 800-815-4857. Go to OsborneHomes.com. Bullying is not a phase. It is not a rite of school passage. It is a serious danger to our children. Bullying will not get better. It will not just go away unless we do something about it. Join mothers against bullying and help protect our kids. If you're being bullied or know someone who is, don't wait. Call the police or contact school authorities. This message has been brought to you by the League of United African American Citizens and was funded in part by the County of Merced. Together, we, we can, can stop bullies. bullies. Eyewitness News is brought to you by Stanton Optical. Now, your CBS 47 pinpoint weather forecast. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Catherine Phillips filling in for Lauren Wallace today. I do want to start with a view from our Valley Cam Network over at Pickett Solar in Fowler. Uh, clear skies for today all across the valley floor. Right now, temperatures are mainly in the 70s, some spots in the 60s, 66 in Madera, 80 in Hanford, but 78 here in Fresno. Here's our satellite and radar view right now. You can see that we do have a lot of clear skies across our area, and that will continue over the next 40 eight hours. So here's our future cast radar. What we do want to pay attention to is the chances for some pop-up showers across the upper elevations of the Sierra Nevada. So this is Thursday around 530 in the evening and you can see just as quickly as they appear they do move out of the way. Same thing happens on Friday around the same time period. So watch out for that as well. But other than that the valley floor will stay clear through the rest of the week. As far as temperatures go we're going to drop a few more degrees by tonight. Eight in the morning tomorrow 67 degrees. Five o'clock tomorrow 94. Some north valley spots a little cooler. However, we're going to see temperatures around the mid 90s for Fresno and Clovis, a little bit warmer for the South Valley. Our foothill spots are in the upper 80s to low 90s, 90 for Three Rivers, 88 for Dunlap. And then for the rest of the week, we see temperatures hovering around that mid to low 90s part. Warmer for Thursday and Friday and Saturday. After that, we do start to see those changes happen. 87 for Monday. That is when we really do start to see uh, the temperatures drop down more. Tuesday, 84. Wednesday, 86. That's a pretty uh, substantial Substantial difference from now to then, eight degrees or so. So you definitely will feel it by this time next week. In the Sierra, we see beautiful temperatures in the 70s and in the 60s. Right, a nice little stretch we find ourselves in here. I know. So it's going to feel like fall uh, eventually, Central Valley fall, but <laughs> yeah. real fall up in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. And then here in the valley come December. Yeah, yeah we'll, we we'll get it. we'll get it then. <laughs> the leaves might change by then. <laughs> Thanks, Kat. Well, new at 11, actor and comedian Adam Sandler is bringing his "I Missed You" tour to the valley. It kicks off next month in Vancouver and runs through December. He'll be at Fresno Save Mart Center on Friday, October 20th. His other tour dates in California include San Jose, Palm Desert, and Anaheim. Tickets go on sale at noon on Friday through Ticketmaster. I'll be excited to have him in Fresno. Mm -hmm. Well, coming up, we will hear from former Fresno State walk-on who is now a major contribution for the dogs. That's coming up in a minute. And a small running back from Carruthers continues to put up big-time numbers. Highlights of his latest amazing performance coming up next in Sports Central. At rallies, I'm in the driver's seat. I'm thinking I want something big. Hit me with that double meat and cheese, Big Buford. 
Actually, give me a second one for just a dollar more. Bang. I want all the flavor. The big Buford. Load it up. Buy one, get one Buford for a buck? Absolutely. Legendary. Am I right? Whatever you order, own it at rallies. Now half off regular size classic slushies. We are at Best RV, the largest RV center in the state of California. If you're new to RVing or if you've been doing it for years, this is the place to come. We're with Niles, and Niles, we all know that it comes down to price and selection. But take a look at this. I mean, you have rows and rows to choose from. Yes, almost exit to exit, almost a mile. And we have all of it from Class A, Class B, Class C, travel trailers, fifth walls, toy hauler, destination trailers, even a pop-up tin trailers. You've got it all, and we are centrally located in Turlock, right off Highway 99. It's very convenient, but you can start that RV journey by shopping online from home. Yes, they could go to our website at bestrv.com. They could check the models, pictures, photo, price, and all the specification they need. They could contact us by email or by phone, or they could come in person and check it out. You can answer all their questions. Thanks a lot, Niles. Some great information. During our end of summer sales event, 2023 RVs priced at 50% off MSRP. So go to bestrv.com today. Pool Tables R Us is the Valley's largest provider of fun. We deliver and set up so you can get your game on with family and friends. Check out our huge variety of FSU decor today. Pool Tables R Us. We're the winner for family and friends fun. Stay informed, stay connected with the Valley Cam Network. Presented by Table Mountain Scott. Now your CentralValley.com pros who know. Today's carpets are softer, thicker, and more stain resistant. At half the cost of hard surface flooring, carpet is the perfect way to make your home more stylish and comfortable. For more expert advice, go to yourcentralvalley.com slash pros who know. Grab the keys to a new Toyota. Let's go! Get out there and make the most of California's best season in a reliable SUV or powerful truck. Start your next adventure in a new Toyota. Right now, get low 3.99% APR on the Dynamic RAV4 or Spacious Highlander. Or lease a RAV4 for as low as $379 a month. Grab the keys, let's go! Toyota. Let's go places. Now, Sports Central. Presented by Toyota. Through the first two games of the season, as is the norm in a Jeff Tedford system, the Bulldog tight ends have been very involved in the offense, especially third-year sophomore Trey Watson, who is third on the team in catches and receiving yards at this point. Watson is from New Mexico, but it was another tight end with Central Valley Roots who found the end zone Saturday against Eastern Washington. Yeah, Sanger High alum and former Fresno City Ram Jake Baus caught his first career touchdown pass as a Bulldog. Faust had no scholarship offers out of high school, but after two years in Fresno City, kind of came onto the dog's radar in the summer of 2021. Here's Bulldog Bite, brought to you by Toyota. Got recruited here through the JUCO camp uh, that they hold every summer, and I was offered a uh, walk-on spot after that camp, so I thought about it for a long time because I didn't know if I was going to play another season at JUCO or come straight over as a walk-on. So I ended up deciding to uh, transfer over and I was actually put on scholarship last year, so it paid off. Certainly did. Now the Bulldogs will try to extend the nation's second longest active winning streak to 12 games when they visit Arizona State Saturday night. Kickoff at 740. In the high school ranks, San Joaquin Memorial has lost three of their first four games, and it appears they've lost their starting quarterback as well as local sports personality Gabe Camarillo reporting. Highly touted transfer Jalen Patterson has left the team and returned to Southern California. Our cameras were at practice Wednesday, and Jalen was not out there. I don't know much about it. I haven't really talked to him. Um, I, I, he was here, and he wasn't here, and I focus on the guys that are here. Um, if you're not here, there's no, there's no point talking about you. So um, the guys that are here, those are the guys I focus on. Patterson transferred into Memorial from Vista Del Lago High School in Moreno Valley. When asked who will be the Panthers' starting QB for Thursday's matchup with Buchanan, Coach Ghostin said, you'll have to wait and see. Finally, staying with high school football for that story a little better than the rest, it's Bemis' best. Number four, Hunter Babb for the Blue Raider touchdown. 
Yeah, we heard that a lot last Friday. <laughs> Remember we told you about Carruthers running back Hunter Babb going for a school record 364 on the ground against Fireball the previous Friday? Well, it only took one week for him to break that record as Hunter went for 440 on 29 carries last Friday in a win over Riverdale where they scored 79 points. The 440, the sixth best total in section history, also scored six touchdowns for the third time in his career. The 5'9 senior is approaching 1,300 yards rushing through only four games this season, which is certainly worthy of a coveted spot in the best. You know, with the way he's going, he might have an outside chance of reaching 6,000 career rushing yards possibly going over 3,000 just this season. That would be incredible. Guys, back to you. All right, thanks, Scott. Well, it's not the Pirates of the Caribbean, but the Pirates of Penzance. We have a preview of this local production coming up straight ahead. At Long John Silver's, every bite is its own golden treasure. Thanks to thick, flaky Alaskan fish, hand-dipped in our signature batter, and fried to golden perfection. Sail in for a $6 fish basket or order ahead at longjohnsilver's.com. Fish yeah! No matter where you work, an injury can happen. And when it does, you need help right away. The insurance company has a team of lawyers to make your case go away. Make sure you have an experienced team to fight back. At Barry Smith and Bartell, we know workers' compensation cases, and we know what it takes to win. Call us now for a free, no-obligation case consultation. Let us put the experience that matters to work for you. Barry Smith and Bartell, bringing justice to injured workers. I had a simple idea, and community helped me turn it into something bigger. Community serves our entire valley. Community is more than a health system. They gave us hope. Community saved my son's life. Community shows their commitment to downtown Fresno every day. My community cares for everyone. I'm proud to have community caring for our city. My family. My hope. My city. My purpose. My community. You can get a degree from anywhere, but Fresno Pacific University takes you beyond a degree. It's something you can take with you everywhere you go. Find out about our flexible schedules, degree guarantees, or enroll at fpu.edu forward slash beyond. This is your gleaming opportunity to dance like nobody's watching, win like nobody's business, and get away like you mean it. So what are you waiting for? Come join the party. Take that evening out and make it a night you'll never forget. Because this kind of action can't be beat. The most common form of dementia is Alzheimer's. At Oasis Adult Day Program, we really focus on keeping your body and mind moving. So the more cognitive stimulation and exercise you do, the slower Alzheimer's or dementia progresses. Our whole purpose is to offer a safe and engaging environment so your loved one is able to have fun while you are getting your much needed break. To learn more, call 559-224-9121. It's a combination of swashbuckling, singing, and a classic theater production. And it is happening in the heart of Fresno's Tower District. Take a look. Now well, listen, it takes some skill to do sword fighting while you are singing. I'm sure a lot of preparation went uh, in for that. Curtains rise on Pirates of the Penzance at Roger Rocca's Dinner Theater. Tomorrow night, it is presented by the Good Company Players. Uh, but the time flies because, again, uh, it's very fast-paced. It's got lots of energy, people flying around all over the place, and, uh, and uh, its laughter is the key to the whole thing. So we invite folks to come out and, and really enjoy one of the great masterpieces of musical theater, The Pirates of Penzance. Now, I had to Google this earlier. I guess it was a, a film that came out in 1983. Lots of people in the newsroom seem to know about it. Uh, again, Pirates of Penzance opens tomorrow night at 5 o'clock, runs all the way through November 5th. For tickets, you can call the box office or buy them online. I love musical theater. I've never heard of it. It's not my fault. Catherine and I are just that much more cultured, and we, we've seen it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we have to go see the, this one because exactly. I'm sure it's better. See so. it in person. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Wicked came out long after okay. uh, the Pirates. I've seen that, too. We'll make a list. Yes. We'll make it a list for the ones we want to yes. see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that will do it for this edition of Eyewitnesses at 11. Stay tuned for The Late Show next. <laughs>
All around us, events unfolding. Start your day with breaking news. From the break of dawn to prepare you for the day ahead. With Anthony Bailey, Madeira's Bad. With you from First Light, investigative journalism.